These are the safety rules for both the handheld and the table router. Safety rule number one, always be sure that the switch is in the off position before plugging the router in. Safety rule number two, never turn on the router when the bit is touching the piece of wood. This can happen here. We want to make sure that our board is not touching the router bit when we turn the power on. We also want to do the same thing on the handheld router. Safety rule number three, between cuts with the router, set the router on its side and turn off the power. We want to make sure the router is set on its side. That way it's less likely to tip over if somebody gets caught up in the cord or it just decides to tip and fall. Number four, when using the router, cut slow and steady. Be sure that we're not feeding the board through too fast because that's going to either cause chips to come off of our board or it's going to cause us to wear out the router bit faster. Number five, never rest any part of the router against your body. When I turn the router on, I want to make sure that it's not close to me. When I am in between cuts on the handheld router, I want to make sure that the router bit's not getting caught in a loose jacket or piece of clothing that I'm wearing. Number six, when using the router table, you can only feed the wood on the in feed or right hand side. The board needs to move through the router table in this direction. You can see the arrow pointing the proper direction. One note, if you notice as you're pushing your board through that you're getting a lot of chips, try not to take all of the material off in one pass. In other words, don't have the piece of wood tied up to the bearing. Just push it in there just barely and do a couple passes. That will hopefully not try to take all of that wood off in one pass and wreck your bit. Number seven, the most common shank sizes for the router are one quarter inch and one half inch. Number eight, clamp down small pieces that need to be cut with the router. You need to keep your hands three inches away from the cutter head. Safety rule number nine, be sure the shank of the router is in the collet at least one half of an inch. This is a round over router bit. It rounds over the edge of a board. This is a cove router bit. It does the opposite and scoops out the edge of a board. And this is the collet. It's the part that holds the router bit in the router. You'll see in this picture it holds the bit and it screws onto the router. Safety rule number 10. Both hands need to be on the coping sled when using the cope cutting shaper. Safety rule number 11. Keep hands three inches away from the wheels or table on the stick cutting shaper. 